up everyone, Mandy here from On The Ground. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how easy it is to grow microgreens, so stay tuned for the video. Microgreens are something that you've probably seen in restaurants. They tend to use them in very small quantities, sprinkled on top of dishes to make it look pretty, but they are not just garnish. You can actually use these in very high quantities like we do, where we put them in full salads. We even put them on top of burgers and all kinds of dishes because they are so tasty, packed full of nutrition, and they are also very easy to grow as well as quick to grow. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to grow microgreens. Here in front of me, I have a few items that were actually from around our house that I've used to grow them in, along with a few trays that were made for growing microgreens, both at home and commercially. Starting on this first tray, this is actually just a plastic little plate that I put a little bit of cocoa core on top and then just seeded on it. And you can see that these are growing so beautifully and I'm really excited to harvest this probably in the next couple of days. Next to it, this is just a little cookie tray. You don't have to just bake cookies on it. You can actually grow microgreens on this as well. And it makes a great little tray for you to grow them on. Whenever you're picking something to grow on, make sure that you are picking items that are food safe and meant for having contact with food. So that way you don't get nasty things leaching into your microgreens. One of the most common questions that we get is what type of soil should I be using to grow microgreens? Well, the best answer I can give you is you can use whatever you have available. We've noticed that some do work better than others, but microgreens are pretty dang good at growing on anything. The type of soil that's going to work the best for this is going to be seedling mixes. Seedling mixes are actually made to germinate seeds better, which is the hardest part about growing microgreens. So those would be the best ones to go with. But if you can't find those, another good option is going to be cocoa coir. Cocoa coir works so dang well, as you guys have probably seen me use it all the time, and it does a marvelous job. I cleared a few things off the table so that way we can discuss seeds next. Here in front of me, I have a few different sources of seeds, starting over here, which these ones are the Sprout House. This is a company that we found off of Amazon, and these seeds actually do really well with germinating. Next to it is another company that we use all the time. It's what we grow most all these trays with that you see behind me. And this is True Leaf Market. They have a ton of great seeds that all do a very good job and I would highly recommend them. Then if you can't get either of these two where you're at, another great option is going to your local grocery store, going over to their bulk section and getting seeds from there. Right here I have mustard seed and I also have some lentils. We tested these a little while back and they both grew very, very well. Another thing that I want to discuss real quick while we're on the seed topic is do not buy seeds that are meant for wild bird feed and use them to grow microgreens. We've had a few people reach out and say, why don't you use wild bird feed to grow microgreens? Well, we decided to look into that and we actually contacted one of the big feed companies and they said, do not use these seeds to consume because there are no restrictions on what the farmers can use to grow them, which means they can be loaded with pesticides or all kinds of chemicals. And by growing microgreens, you're gonna be consuming all that. And microgreens are supposed to be something that are healthy for you. And when you're consuming that, you could be causing all kinds of harm throughout your entire body. And I just would not suggest doing that. So now we're gonna move into a very exciting part of this video, but before I do that, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps our video get higher up in the YouTube algorithm, which helps us continue to do videos like this. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and that little notification bell, so that way you get notified anytime we release a new video. So now, let's get into seeding this tray. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like it was Halloween, but here we are. <laughs> So this tray was actually a little plate, which I just got from Target. It was 25 cents and it's also food safe, which makes it a great thing to be growing microgreens in. And the cool thing about it is there's actually three little sections. So that means that we can grow three different varieties all at once. So now let's sit this down and here's our soil that we're gonna be using. This is one that you guys have never seen in our grow space. Whenever we first started growing microgreens, we actually used to use this all the time, but we moved from being out in the country back to the city and we have had a hard time finding it again. And that's why we use Coco Coir. The great thing about this is it is a seed starting mix, which means this is gonna do absolutely wonderful for growing these microgreens. So now let me 
set this here. We're going to open this up and grab a handful. Boop. Now you just want to put some in here. Try to get it even. We're going to clear up those lines a little bit so we can see each little section. And see, it really doesn't take too much at all. And now, let me move this out of my way and we are going to pick our seeds. I think for this, we'll kind of mix them here and do one of each. I'll do a little bit of Sprout House, a little bit of True Leaf, and a little bit of the ones that I got from the store. Okay, I have my little measuring set here. And I think because this is so small, I'm just gonna use a little teaspoon. If you wanted to, you could just grab some out with your hand and sprinkle it on. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just try to do my best. I'm actually gonna do it this way, a lot easier. And we're just gonna sprinkle it on there. So now I'm going to be using a little bit of this purple kurabi. Purple kurabi is so pretty. The stems on it are very purple, then at the very tips of it, it's just a nice, beautiful green. This one here, we love to use on top of burgers and stuff like that. It just tastes so good. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit less than a teaspoon. So this one should only need like a little pinch because it is a lot smaller of a side of the tray. We're just gonna get these. Sprinkle them in there. This would be such a great way to get kids excited about growing too. And it's really easy to do. Just need a little bit of medium, a little bit of seed. And you are good. And now, I think we're gonna do a little bit of the mustard seed. Like I said before, this is just from the bulk section at our grocery store and they actually grow pretty well. We grow a huge tray of them and they grew just as fast as the ones I got from True Leaf Market. So I'm gonna pour some in my hand. It's a little bit easier. Now mustard grows very fast. And it's also gonna be a spicier microgreen. So if you don't like spice, you're probably not gonna enjoy mustard, but it does have a good flavor. I would definitely suggest not using it in too high of quantities. It's really best whenever you mix it with the other microgreens. Or if you put it on top of burgers, I do like to pile it on burgers. And now I just need a spray bottle. So this just has regular water in it. That's all you really need. And you're just gonna give them a good mist. I want this to be not too saturated, but not too dry. Another thing that you're going to do now is just grab a paper towel and then make sure it fits over the top of this. Place it over like that. Give it a good mist. And what this will do is it will help the seeds germinate. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna place this somewhere where it's not in the light, but it also gets good airflow. And I'm just gonna make sure that this stays decently moist throughout the whole germination process, which means what I'm going to do twice a day is just give this a good mist over the paper towel and also under the paper towel. And then eventually once you start to poke through, you're just gonna remove the paper towel and place this somewhere where it has good light. It can be either in a window or it can be under artificial light like this. Either one will work perfectly for you. What we like to use are just some cheap LED grow lights. And if you wanna know more about lights, we have plenty of other videos and we're gonna be doing more videos where we discuss lights like these and we're starting to branch out and do more outdoors as well. That is it, you guys. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to grow microgreens, especially right now with everything going on. It's good to have options on ways to grow fresh produce, especially at home and for cheap. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, those are both at OnTheGrow Farms. And we also have a website that is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much and keep on believing.